The Greater Vancouver Chamber has worked hand in hand with businesses in our community for over 130 years. Whether new beginnings, recovery, growth or revitalization, our business community is as innovative and resilient as ever. The Chamber staff and volunteers have worked tirelessly the past year to develop a new brand, new programming, and ways to connect and engage not only our members, but businesses across the region. Always aiming to enable businesses to thrive and create community vitality. We've had the honor of bringing exciting and critical programming to the market, such as Savor the Coup, Business and Nonprofit Pods, Grow the 360 Community Currency, Lemonade Days Junior Market, Women in Leadership, Business After Hours, and more to the region's professionals. Tonight, we are excited to celebrate the work some of our incredible members have done through the 2022 Business and Leadership Awards. We would like to thank our presenting sponsor, the Port of Vancouver, for recognizing the importance of business vitality across our community through their generous sponsorship of tonight's presentation. The Port of Vancouver got its start more than a century ago right here at Terminal 1. From humble beginnings exporting prunes and lumber, the port has grown with its community. Every day we work hard to fulfill our mission of providing jobs and economic benefit to Southwest Washington. In 2021, the port handled millions of tons of cargo, hundreds of ships, thousands of automobiles, and enough wind energy to power a small city. Behind all this activity are the nearly 4,000 people who work at the port each day, supporting our marine, industrial, and administrative operations. The port's 50 industrial tenants represent a broad cross-section of businesses, from malt for craft beer, fruit processing to manufacturing, a variety of businesses call the port home. The health of our environment is important to us. We're investing in electric vehicles for our maintenance crews and building our Terminal 1 waterfront as a LEED Gold certified neighborhood. In 2022, we opened Vancouver Landing and the AC Hotel at Terminal 1. Both are new attractions for visitors and residents alike. The Red Lion Hotel is gone and will be replaced by a new dock to support a public market. Blocks near the railroad berm will be transformed into the new headquarters for Vancouver-based Zoom Info, bringing 3,000 jobs to the waterfront. As the third oldest and one of the largest ports in the state, each day brings new business opportunity and prosperity for our community. We hope you share that sense of pride and optimism. That's why, for more than 100 years, we've been the port of possibility. The Chamber's Business and Leadership Awards are possible through the support of Peace Health Columbia Region, the Columbian, Cal Portland, Vancouver Clinic, and for the first time, our community sponsor, LS Networks. LS Networks is very excited to be involved with the Business and Leadership Awards for the first time. Uh, LS Networks is an active part of the over 100 communities that we serve throughout uh, Oregon and Washington. We were founded about 17 years ago. We now have more than 7,000 miles of fiber network across the entire Pacific North Northwest, bringing fiber-based internet, ethernet, and voice services to the communities we serve. LS Network's mission dovetails very nicely with the Business and Leadership Awards because we're very focused on helping develop and enrich the lives of people in the communities we serve, much like the business and community leaders that we're honoring here today. We've recently established an office in Vancouver, and we find the Vancouver community a great place to recruit talent. It's proximity to the communities we serve, as well as our headquarters in Portland. And so we're very excited about the growth and opportunities that Vancouver presents. The Business and Leadership Awards this evening celebrate the accomplishments and hard work of four businesses and individuals. We're also excited and proud this evening to be bringing you, for the first time in many years, this year's First Citizen. Having originated with the Chamber of Commerce, the First Citizen Award has been produced by a variety of organizations over the years, most recently through a partnership between the Columbian and the Community Foundation for Southwest Washington. We want to recognize the tremendous effort by both organizations over many years to keep the award viable and relevant. We'll bring you more information on this year's First Citizen in a few minutes. First to be recognized tonight is the Startup to Watch. This award recognizes a business that is within their first five years of operation and one that is emblematic of tenacity, vision, and have strong business practices. 
To introduce this year's Startup to Watch Award, Nelson Holmberg from Northwest Natural. So Northwest Natural is a natural gas distribution company that serves Western Oregon and Southwest Washington. We're very involved in the community. This is one way for us to recognize a startup business that is um, active in the community as well, that has shown promise, that has uh, developed its business in a really strong way, just like Northwest Natural has. And um, we like to, to give back. We like to share part of the community and be engaged in the community as well. So to be an active chamber member and participate in this event is really, really important to our company. And the nominees for this year's Startup to Watch Award are Pop Local, Evergreen Women's Health, and Finishing Touch. And the recipient of this year's Startup to Watch Award is Pop Local. The concept of Pop Local started in 2020 as a means to support businesses through the period of the pandemic to continue supporting a lot of our makers, but in a safer environment. From there, we started as a pop-up shop and we've opened up our waterfront location on March 5th. It really means the world for us to be nominated for the Startup Award. That's definitely something that was unexpected. It's been such a journey to get here and to be able to connect local makers, you know, truly serve businesses that are right here within our neighborhood. Our second category this evening is the Small Business of the Year. This award celebrates the achievements of businesses that show demonstrable growth, have a team of fewer than 25 employees, and have strong business practices. Now, please welcome from Hapo Community Credit Union, Alara Rice. Hapo opened its doors in 1953, um, and in 2018, we moved here to Vancouver, and we've been embraced by the community and are loving it so far. The Business and Leadership Awards are really important to Hapo, because just like the Chamber, we believe in moving businesses forward. The Small Business Award is really important to Hapo, because we understand the hard work and dedication it takes to run a business with fewer than 25 employees. And the nominees for this year's Small Business Award are Zeppelin, nominated in their second category tonight, Evergreen Women's Health and Clark County Junk Removal. And the recipient of this year's Small Business Award is Evergreen Women's Health. Women appreciate our personalized approach to women's health. Women who want to spend more time with their providers and who also uh, appreciate a provider that accepts alternative and complementary medicine. Women deserve to have the best of both worlds. It is such an honor to be nominated in two categories uh, from the Chamber. It means a lot to be recognized and um, it tells us that we are doing the right thing and moving in the right direction in this community. Large Business of the Year is our third award category this evening. This recognition is given to an organization with 25 or more employees who demonstrate growth in market share, sales, creating new jobs for our community, and giving back in a way that helps make our community thrive. To introduce the nominees and the recipient of this year's Large Business of the Year, please welcome Paris Powell from Perkins & Company. Well, Perkins & Company is the largest locally owned accounting firm uh, here in the Pacific Northwest and full of vibrant people who are uh, ready to spur on entrepreneurs to growth and incredibly plugged into our community. We love Vancouver and Southwest Washington. We're really excited about the growth that's occurring here in Clark County. It's really meaningful for Perkins to be a part of the large business category for companies that have already grown to this um, level of supporting employees and providing for families across this county to keep growing at this level is, is a huge, huge undertaking and we just, we're here to support them and to help them grow and to continue to evolve daily. We're, we're really excited to support that. And the nominees for the Large Business Award are Vancouver Mall and Dos Alas Latin Kitchen and Tequila Bar. And the winner of the 2022 Large Business Award is Vancouver Mall. We're excited to be a finalist in the Chamber's Large Business of the Year Award. It's such an honor because the Vancouver Mall is celebrating its 45th anniversary this year. Our Chamber membership is important because it deepens our connections with the broader business community. And it's more than just about business. We enjoy being a hub for our community. The final Business and Leadership Award to be presented this evening is State's Person of the Year. Recognizing an elected official who collaborates with all levels of government to assure the best possible business-friendly environment. This recognition is in memory of Bill Fromhold, former Greater Vancouver Chamber President and CEO, as well as a Washington State Representative. To present this award, please welcome Aaron Bradley from Pacific Source Health Plans. 
It's an honor for Pacific Source to be part of the Business and Leadership Awards for the third year in a row. Pacific Source is a health plan payer. We've been around for over 80 years, but we are new to the Washington state market. We have been here a little over three years, so I like to call us an 80-year-old startup. We are a very community-focused um, health plan, and we also are here to help our members navigate the complicated healthcare landscape and really give them a hand-holding experience. This award focuses on an individual who has made a tremendously positive impact in the community, and that is what Pacific Source stands for and will continue to do. And the nominees for this year's State's Person Award are Vancouver City Council Member Bart Hansen and 17th District Representative Paul Harris. And the recipient of this year's State's Person Award is Representative Paul Harris. <laughs> Paul is committed to making sure people have jobs, allow businesses to be productive without fighting excessive regulations, and provide a quality education for our children. Representative Harris successfully secured a $3.2 million appropriation for the Youth Tobacco and Vapor Products Prevention Account to assist with the treatment and prevention of tobacco use. Been very involved in healthcare, strong believer in public health, we raise the smoking age to 21. Uh, vaping products and other things that kids get involved in, I think, are, are critical to make sure that they understand what they're doing to their bodies. Actually, the other piece was dealing with vaccinations, making sure children get vaccinated. Those are probably the, the two most important things that I've done. Helping our community uh, during difficult times and in good times. The chamber reaches out and honors businesses, but also reaches out to constituents. The chamber looks at those needs and helps them to be met. It's very exciting. Being nominated for this means a lot to me. I mean, I'm really surprised. Uh, been a legislator for a while, been a strong believer in the chamber and, and in business and in the people of Vancouver. So I'm, I'm very honored. Our final presentation this evening is to introduce you to the 2022 First Citizen. Since 1939, this award has been honoring members of our local community. Please welcome Kevin Laclama, President and CEO of Riverview Bank, First Citizens Award is a very prestigious award in the community and Riverview is honored to be a part of that this year. We're a local community bank. We're headquartered right here in Vancouver, Washington. Our mission is really around um, creating value, value relationships for our community and for our clients and helping uh, lo our local businesses grow. During this last uh, summer, we actually went through a brand transformation. So we are now Riverview Bank and our tagline is, it's about you. You means our staff, our community, and our clients. How we can be there to help serve our clients and how we can offer products and services to help them grow. A lot of the same values that the First Citizen Award recognizes from volunteerism to business achievements and philanthropy is a lot of the same stuff that Riverview values as well and that we strive to offer. You know, the First Citizen Award just aligns so closely to what Riverview has, uh, has always believed in and the way that we're continuing to focus our business as we go forward. Our first citizen tonight has left his mark on the lives of many. This is an individual who has truly modeled exemplary citizenship. On behalf of Riverview Bank, the Greater Vancouver Chamber, and the community as a whole, I'm pleased to announce our 2022 first citizen, Ron Onslow. I went to uh, Providence Academy. My folks had the Pastime Tavern. I didn't want to look at anybody because they might ask me a question. An individual was sitting in a booth and he got up and he said, see you later, Ron. So I went to the, wait the waitress and I said, who was that? And she says, I don't know, but he asked what your name was. And I thought, if I'm going to learn anything from this, I'm going to start meeting people. I worked for my family for about 15 years before I opened Ron Century House on the Academy property. On top of that, we opened up the uh, bakery, which was in Hazeldell. And then a couple of years later, we opened up another restaurant called Ron's Steakout. All of a sudden, I had three restaurants and 150 people and working 24 hours a day. I believed in, in females becoming athletes because I had five daughters. So I took my daughter down to sign her up for fast pitch softball. There was no coach. So I ended up being a coach and signed him up for swimming. And I ended up coaching swimming for 29 years. I loved sports. I ended up with 60 to 80 kids in the pool and I ended up with 10, 15 kids on fast pitch softball. And at the same time, 
Uh, Rudy Hammond, who played at the University of Notre Dame, was coaching St. Joe's football, and he said, I need help. And they were across the street from me, so they became my boys. And then I opened up the sports page. But at the same time, I was also active in the Junior Chamber of Commerce. My dad it was the president of the Chamber of Commerce, and I was the president of the Junior Chamber of Commerce at the same time. When I retired from the sports page, I moved to Ridgefield. And so I went to a council meeting and I came home and I said to my wife, you can't believe this council meeting. And so I applied the following year, the mayor stepped down. So I stepped in and uh, became the mayor. And I thought at the beginning, there is no way I could run this city. Well, after two years, I thought, well, I could do this. I am extremely proud of the fact that we are growing our parks and trails by a great deal. Because I was mayor for so many years, they named a park after me, the Onslow Park. The people are working together for the betterment of Clark County, and Richfield's really involved in that, as well as all the other cities, because we want to make it the best, and, and we are going to make it the best. It is the best county in the state, so I stay involved and I love it. And I'm, and I'm very, very proud that I've been selected as first citizen. Ron, thank you for your decades of commitment to Clark County and a well-deserved recognition. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our nominees this evening and a special congratulations to the 2022 Business and Leadership Award honorees. On behalf of the Greater Vancouver Chamber, let me thank all of the businesses who come together to make this region what it is. We are proud to be a part of it.